Tonight, we ask us the uh, Godfather General Power play in Nigeria ahead of the 2023 elections and also uh, 447 of uh, 5,000 nominees selected for national awards, says Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, George Akume. This is Plus Politics and Emmanuel Olubobukun. Glad to have you back. The 20 general elections can be likened to a race of the fittest. By fitness, it means every political party must ensure to erode the best candidate for winning the race. The behind the scenes effort of Niger's former military leaders, according to reports, was a salient feature of the last presidential primary of the main opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. When parties did not follow the democratic processes to present a candidate for the general elections, the obvious result is the anarchy Nigerians uh, experienced during elections as Tagri and all the forms of violence often uh, truncate the process. Join us live or to discuss this is uh, Apunabo Nko Tare, a civil rights advocate and as Ezekiel Inya Etok, a governorship candidate of the uh, ADC River State. Glad to have you on the program. Yeah, good evening, my brother, and uh, good evening, Nigerians. Uh, yes, now I was looking at um, what is on the ground in terms of God for Darism, in terms of uh, looking at uh, uh, God for Darism in, uh, in the country. What can you say first is this uh, manner of uh, God for Darism, you know, wanting to look after, you know, get a uh, verdict from a particular person before I can run for either, any position in the country? Well, God for Darism is a function of uh, the settings with very large appetites to dominate the political space. And so what they do is to ensure that they get into positions of authority, their aficionados, their lackeys, and those that they believe are loyal to them, with the primary aim of controlling them. So when they are even out of office, I'm talking of the Godfather, they are God's sons who will do their bidding. And this is just the genesis of God Padarism. There is this natural tendency for certain persons to control the wheels of power. And um, unfortunately, these Godfathers are the ones with the financial watchers, are the ones who have the clouds are the ones with the crowd to ensure. When I mean, not necessarily a crowd. If I say crowd, I'll be wrong. Because if it's a crowd, then you're talking of mobile crazy. But these are the ones who are in charge of mechanism to be leaders in the country. And so they decide, notwithstanding the competence of whoever they want to put in there, what is primary to the Godfathers is loyalty. Uh, Mr. Ezekiel, are you with us? Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Can you? Yes, I can. Okay, now uh, looking at the topic, uh, we have uh, uh, you know, have, we have before us assessing the Godfather general powers in uh, no, in play in Nigeria ahead of the forthcoming twenty general elections. I was I, no, I was asking, uh, looking at that term Godfatherism, what can you say it is? Uh, you see, the concept of Godfatherism is getting a little bit redefined to be like um, political sponsors because. It's um, getting a little more dynamic. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, as it were, I've been running, um, as it were, public enlightenment on uh, funding for elections. And um, it is within the context of looking for funds because now we don't have electoral processes where uh, one man can sit and dictate, um, unlike before, where he had the power to do and undo. These days, with the, the, the innovations in, in the, uh, from INEC, 
you discover that if you have funds, you can do, you can run a solo, you can have a solo run. So right now we are looking more into the the Godfather as being replaced by the funders, you know, of um, of your campaign, and um, it's become a lot more complicated. And I was able to outline five, you know, funders of of, of campaigns. The first, I'll just run very quickly because of time. The first is what I call personal funds, the money that you've been able to put together yourself, and then um, you look at your worth and you can maybe bring out 300, 400, 500 million of your money and put that up and believe that your people will run with you because your intention is to serve. So you make that, make that personal sacrifice, personal funds and your friends. Then the second one is um, a loan, a political loan. Political loan is the one that you just uh, put down a major property and it is a do or die affair. And somewhere along the line, you can very easily like um, get to endorse another person so it's like sell out towards the end. The third is um, what we call the, the political um, funders. That is where you now call like the godfather kind of stuff. You know, uh, three, four friends come together and they say, we want to take up the government of a quiet bomb state. Let's recruit, you know, a willing hand that can run the campaign. We fund, but then we become the owners of the government. You don't need to have your money. You just do their bidding. This is what we want every month. And this is what we want to decide and things like that. Then the fourth one is gov. You just dip your hand into the till of government and then take the money and run the election. Now, these two are related in the sense that you tip, except you're a second-term government, governor, if you're a first-term governor, you, just, you have to depend on somebody who dips his hand into the till and funds your election. And then you become the boy of that person until you, you gain your freedom, as it were. The last one is about the most dangerous, which is the ritual. You know, you go to the devil, let me put it up bluntly, and you get a deal with him. Every billion has five, ten heads to go. Uh, one must be a, a child that is not more than um, seven days old, and you have to come and kill that child by pounding in front of you. And the others have to be giving, maybe somebody must be an albino, and one must have a hunchback. None of those things. For each billion, there's a package of ten heads, and they give that to you. Rituals, okay? So, but coming back to your question, uh, yeah. The man who brings out money from his pocket, like me, I took the run for the governorship of a state. He doesn't need any godfather, nothing. And the man who takes his money based on his property doesn't need. It is between these two, the one who goes to political, um, you know, um, uh, uh, funders, you know, they do the business of politics, they own states. Between that and those who dip their hands into the government till to bring money to run election. So that is becoming a little different from what we used to have before, where we had this strong man of the bad on politics that then even says, this one goes, that one stays. Now, it's, it's becoming a little more dynamic and um, a little different from what was in the past. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, now, still on that now, you know. Uh, it's been said that over years, you know, we have the uh, Godfatherism being the play, you know, in terms of owning the country, per se, like Nigeria as it is. And, uh, but now, you know, people are still saying that uh, it seems that even the so Godfathers are the ones now wanting to, you know, be at the forefront of uh, this uh, election, you know, looking at the forthcoming 2020 general elections. Now, what can you say to this? Because in terms of ownership, now you said they do the funding. But some say that some that don't actually do the funding, according to some that have gotten, that don't actually do the funding, they actually stand and say, okay, this must not work without my knowledge. What can you say to this? No, no, you see, there are two processes. The first process is inter-party, within the party. Okay. They can, they still call the shots, they still own the party. They can say, I want this person, I don't want the second, this person. But when you move to this next phase where you've gotten the ticket, you're now a candidate, you know, that, that's, th these are two different fields of play and the, the modus operandi are different. Uh, within the parties, the party, you know, internal party uh, mechanisms are still not um, tight, not, not, there still isn't that independence, so to speak. You know, there's still a, a good amount of ownership of the party. For instance, if you want to get a ticket, the, the governor of that state is going to determine whether you get a ticket or not to a very great extent. You know, the, gov the governor is like the godfather in the party, in the state. But like I said, you can be your godfather, you can be the governor, you can give the ticket, but that guy is going to leave and face the general public. 
and with the introductions of yes. INEC right now. So we need to know where we are talking. If we are talking about, you know, getting the ticket, you know, becoming a candidate, then okay. we can say that there's still a lot of God for that reason, yeah, uh, okay. which is like the owners of the party. Okay. But when you come into general election, no, that's, yes. that's a lot of things are changing right now. I can tell you that for free. Okay, now we have um, uh, open up all on, sta on standby now. So what can you say about this? You've had uh, Mr. Ezekiel talk about the Godfatherism now. What can you say in terms of how it has, uh, you know, uh, played a part in Nigerian politics, you know, of, you know, for, to, to, for, no, for exception, you know, to date? And it's still actually playing, because some say it will still continue to play. What can you say to this? Well, your question is, the, the, the role of Godfather's yes. political Yes, in terms of looking at uh, uh, politics in Nigeria. No, like I, like I said, yes, I'll be saying this for the third time. Yes. I, ju I just said, I said, yes. it's to remote control the uh, machinery of governance rules of government, so they are outside and they plan their promise, and not necessarily plans of competence, but those that are loyal to them, and not necessarily loyal to the constitution or loyal to the people that supposedly put them in there, but those that will do their own bidding while they are in office, and most of the institutions they are so important, these are persons that have the money, and so they can even. And that's why, in fact, you have all kinds of characters that are not qualified in government, in positions of authority. Because if they know that you are competent and eminently qualified, and you have a mind of your own, because they believe that you will go in there. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Hello? Yes. Yeah, they will never want you to get into office. They want those that millions that they can control. And it started with the generals because they were in office. So. I apologize, sir. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Hello? Now, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Yes, and most of them have finished the tragedy, right? So they had enough money to control, to control the public and to control the system, and they were in charge. Okay. So they detected the pace, and that was why the general said they got further. But their powers have waned, because now you have civilians in positions of authority, and these civilians have been in office and have also pleased the tragedy, right? So they can leave office like someone else, they have to ensure that those that will cover their tracks, those that will be loyal to them, even when they're out of office, are the ones that are being planted. And this is what you refer to as Godfatherism in politics. So now, uh, now are, are we... Uh... Can you, are we now saying now, I'm, I'm, this I'm going to be asking uh, Mr. Ezekiel, sir. now I'm going to say this, are we now saying that uh, now, looking at it as Godfatherism now played a huge part in terms of Nigerian politics, what I'm, what, this is what I'm trying to imply in terms of the fact that uh, now over time, looking at the economy, looking at how far the you know, Nigerians have uh, you know, gone for the 62 years since, we just, uh, since uh, independence, how has Godfatherism been so far, and should we still allow this to still play out? Okay, like um, um, what my brother has said yes. is very, very likely true. You know, there was a lot of, there's always been money in politics, and money was in the hands of a few people, okay, uh, prior to 1999. And even the first set of people that came in, but... When you had the first set of um, governors that, um, you know, had two terms, they had enough money, and then you had the second set from 2007, they had a lot more people that had a lot more money. By the time you came to the next set of 2015, we now have people who can, like, run elections independent of the, 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 the godfathers. 
And um, as a result of that, uh, the, 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 the influence that these people wielded, which had to do with money, is not as strong as it was. And there's something that he said, which is very fundamentally true. The so-called sponsorship or God for Darism concept thrives on one thing, what they call loyalty, their concept of loyalty, which is becoming their boy, you know, feeding their greed and being held hostage, you know, almost throughout. So, but, but I, I would like, I think these sort of discussions are relevant to the extent that they x-ray the future. I think that what, what I would like to put uh, forward to our people today is that, you know, we've passed the era of getting tickets. Everybody, as at today, I hope you know that today, the, the, the campaigning for, for the governors and the state have assembly officially took off. And as from today, we are not talking of aspirants, how you get the ticket. We're talking of candidates, how you get the ballot, mm. you know. And within that concept, I need the people to understand that the power now comes back to them. No matter who was the godfather, who was in the godfather, it is now in the hands of Nigerians to decide who they want to have as their next president or as the next governor. If we are able to enlighten the people enough for them to realize that the power of the Godfather is only to the extent where they use their resources to influence you. Because now there isn't that th thuggery anymore. There isn't that violence anymore, not as preponderant as before. But now it is the people deciding. And what plays next is the vote buying. And it's a choice of the people to say, I'm going to sell my future for this, my four years for this 2,000 naira. But we are going to do massive work. And it's starting, I just came from, from a local community where I had uh, what I could call my takeoff in a community that we had less than 500 people, so to speak, where we sat down and what happened there was phenomenal. It was fire because I was able to sit with the people and for over an hour drill down how the power is in their hands now. So now the, the more we are able to enlighten the people, the more they realize that the godfathers would lose their hold on the people for as long as the people realize that they would rather choose a better future than a present, you know? It's like stripping your future to enhance your present. We are going to enlighten the people and they are buying it. From what I saw today, it was awesome. And we need to do a lot more to enlighten the people. And by so doing, we would have finally broken the backs of these so-called godfathers. Of course, we, uh, we need to do a lot more in... Uh... Uh, enlightening people in the area of God for Darism. But uh, due to the course of our time, we won't be able to take much. Uh, we thank you very much, uh, Mr. Punabo in Kotari, and also uh, Mr. Ezekiel, who happens to be the ADC governorship can I, can I candidate I for the state. Can I give you a Okay. Just a few minutes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 But I also urge Nigeria to conform to the principles they should be enforced by the new values. In other words, I, for example, am not a member of any political Okay. Vote will be premised on the candidate. Mm. I will vote across party lines. My House of Assembly member might be a member of a different political party. My local, my chairman might be a member of the, my governor a member of a different party. Okay. President, a member of a different party. I don't give a damn. What matters is the deliverance of democracy and good governance. And so we need a lot of enlightenment. And I enjoy Nigerians to also cast their votes in that line. Of course, that's uh, a big plea, you know, looking at the fact that uh, many Nigerians now are turning out in masses, are turned out in masses to get their voters card. Many thanks for joining us uh, on the program, Mr. Ezekiel, and also Mr. Uh, Opunabo. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, thanks for stopping us. We will take a short break now, and when we get back, we will be discussing the National Honours Awards given by the federal government. Stay with us.